there's one. Oh, dude, that is a freaking giant. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode on the PC Fun YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna go over how you can catch more bass in the spring using jerk baits and using dual realis spy baits. Stay tuned and check it out. Using a jerk bait in the spring can be one of the most deadly ways to catch big bass but there is a million different options when it comes to jerk baits. You have shallow diving, deep diving, floating, suspending, and there's probably a hundred different brands out there. For me, when it comes to jerk baiting in the spring, I'm typically fishing clear water. So what I like to do is look for a bait that has a good translucent pattern, which means you have some ability to see through the bait. That allows it to look more natural in the water, especially in clear water on sunny days. Now, if you're fishing dirtier water or you wanna have have something that shows up a bit more then you can go into using your oranges and your brighter colors and those are going to help you catch more fish in dirty water but generally a jerk bait is a sight fishing bait and a lot of people like to use it in clear water so translucent it is for me now in the springtime there's a lot of different sizes of forage in the lake but sometimes when the fish are finicky you want to downsize so i use typically two to three different sizes of baits now the ones i have here in my hand are a 78 and a 110 in between those would be a size 100. I would say the most used size in my arsenal is probably a 100, but I'll step up or down depending on what the forage in that lake looks like. Another great color jerkbait to use on clear lakes is a perch pattern or a bluegill pattern. The perch and bluegill pattern are very natural and they mimic a lot of forage in a lot of lakes, especially here in the Midwest. Now, when you're using a jerkbait, the big thing is to make sure you have the right rod and the right reel to work with. So for me, I'm using the PC Funt Serpent Series 6 foot 10 medium and then a fast action. I think you can go all the way up to a seven foot, uh, but that medium is pretty critical. The big thing about a jerkbait is it has pretty small hooks. So once you hook into that fish, you wanna make sure you have that rod flex that those hooks don't rip out of that fish's mouth. The other thing is having a nice smooth casting reel because you want to make sure you're really getting those bomb casts way out there. So next I'm going to kind of go through and show you guys how I work my jerk bait to catch bass in the spring. There's a couple different ways that you can do it that have been really effective for me. So the first thing is any chance you can position yourself with the wind at your back casting towards your target. That will allow you to get much longer casts and cover a lot more water. Um, again, just kind of pay attention to the cadence and I'll show you a couple different ones here. So once you get out there, you wanna give it a couple good hard rips that gets the jerk bait down. Now you wanna rip, pause, rip, rip, pause. Rip, pause, rip, rip, pause. Now what you'll notice that I'm doing each time I do that is I'm feeding line back to the jerk bait to create slack, which creates that darting action when I go to snap the line the next time. That darting action is exactly what makes that jerk bait as deadly as it is in the springtime. Now, if I wanna go ahead and I wanna do a different cadence, let's say maybe the fish on my lake are not, not exactly chasing really well on a jerk bait. What you can do is kind of walk that jerk bait gently, or if you're in very shallow water, this is an effective technique as well. So you make your cast, and instead of doing the rip rip, now you're just gonna kind of twitch. So you're almost, it's almost like a walking the dog motion when you're doing a top water. So you're just kind of twitching that jerk bait and it's just gonna do little quick darts right along the surface. Um, and depends on how shallow you are, if you're in a foot or two of water, it's a perfect technique to catch big bass. Yeah, this new Spark Pro is awesome, dude. Super nice. Oh, there's one. Oh, dude, that is a freaking giant. Oh, definitely net. Oh, dude, it's a big large mouth. Oh, it's got hooks all on the side of its face. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swim back around here, hold on. I'm gonna swim it back around. Dude, I never would have imagined it would have been a large moth. I thought for sure that was a smallie. Dude, that thing is a freaking tank. Come on, baby, nice and gentle. Yes! Dude, what a freaking giant. Guys, look at this large mouth. I bet you this fish is pushing five pounds. Oh my God, oh, he's blind in one eye. Look at that guys. What a tank largey. Absolutely crushed that duo jerk bait. Oh man. Do not flop with this in my hands, please. Where are those players? Yeah. 
Let me get some pliers. Guys, look at that freaking fish. What an absolute giant largemouth. Crush that duo realis. Hooks all in the side of the face. All right, let's go ahead and get her unhooked. Oh, she's really got it. Guys, look at that largemouth. That is an absolute giant. Super shallow water here in spring. Just ripping that jerk bait. Absolutely crushed it. What a freaking toad. That is why you use jerk baits in the springtime. Look at that, guys. I'm gonna show you the other side. This fish is blind in one eye. We gotta go ahead, we're gonna get the scale. I wanna weigh this fish really quick. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get a weight on this largemouth. I'm thinking it's gotta be close to five pounds. So we're gonna go ahead, get our scale turned on and get her clipped on. All right, let's see what we got here. 5.22, 5.22. That is a nice fish, guys. Well, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and get her released right away, right now, so she can go and do her thing. All right, here we go, guys. Absolute beautiful giant largemouth. Here you go. See you later, girl. See you next time. Another great springtime lure, especially when the water slacks off and the fish get really finicky, is a spy bait. Personally, I love the Duo Realis spy baits because they're extremely compact, they're streamlined, and they're super easy to cast and cover a lot of water. Now, these baits really shine when the fish becomes super finicky. So these are in situations where the water is very clear or in situations maybe where there's not a lot of wind out that day, you have high sun and you have bluebird skies. That's where a spy bait really can shine extremely well and catch a lot of big fish. So the other bait that I told you about that I really love using in the spring is a Duo Realis spy bait. Now this is probably one of the more difficult baits to use, not because it's hard to use, but because it takes a lot of discipline to use. So when you're using this bait, you want to make a really long cast way out there. Then you want to count the bait down to within a few feet of the bottom. Once you're at that depth, then it's just a nice, slow roll to be able to get that bait to go exactly where you need it to. And you want to get close to the bottom because that's generally where the fish are hanging. If they're suspended, count down to that suspended depth. Now, when it comes to your setup, Basically what you're using is a drop shot rod. So this is a PC Fun Serpent Series 7 foot 2 medium light. It's a drop shot rod normally, net rigs, hair jigs, things like that. When it comes to the line, I really like to use a low diameter light braid. The braid that I have on right here is PC Fun Lunker Braid. This is 8 pound test and I have a 6 pound fluorocarbon leader. Now when it comes to the reel, you don't want to be too fast. Like I said, it's a very monotonous, very tedious way to fish. So if you have a reel that's too fast, you're not going to keep that bait along the bottom, which is critical for spy baiting. I have a Carbon X 1000. The Carbon X 1000 has a 5.2 to 1 gear ratio, which allows me to stay nice and low and slow along the bottom, which is going to help you catch a whole lot more fish when you're using a spy bait. Jerk baits, jerk baits, jerk baits. Jerk baits are an amazing bait in the springtime, guys, and I had an absolute blast filming this video. Um, I was fishing for predominantly smallies, and I was amazed when I hooked that really big largemouth, which was like 5.2 pounds or something like that. It was an absolute blast. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Head on over, check us out on Instagram, and hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you on the water next time.